Hello, my name is Rachel Barron. I'm the Senior Manager of Health Equity at Global Genes, which is a nonprofit organization dedicated to eliminating the challenges for rare disease patients globally. I run the Rare Compassion Program, uh, which was launched in 2014 as the first international educational program to pair medical students with rare disease patients and caregivers. Through the program, medical students and rare disease patients or families are paired in one-to-one -one virtual meetings. They meet longitudinally over the course of eight months. The program is really an opportunity for medical students to learn something that the textbooks won't teach them about the rare disease experience. I actually had three medical students. Um, two were from Texas, one, one was from Kansas, and none of them knew about uh, histiocytic disorders, um, in particular Erdheim-Chester disease. Um, I, my medical student was a first year medical student in Chicago, and she had never heard of any of the histiocytic disorders, let alone HLH. My medical student was a student from a uh, first year from the University of Chicago Medical School. She didn't have prior knowledge of histio, something that I think is worth sharing because um, it really helped facilitate a connection is the fact that she and I were very close in age. She's located in Atlanta, Emory University. The first one I didn't have a meeting with, we just communicated. The second one I had one meeting with and the third one I had two meetings with. And I think the third one was, was really beneficial. Um, he had a lot of questions. He also focused on a lot of the social issues that go along with having a rare disease, uh, family issues, uh, caregiving issues. A lot of times people with rare disease aren't able to work like they used to work. We talked about looking at the patient as not a quote unquote patient, but as a person and to not treat that um, person as a protocol, but to treat them as an individual and to individualize their care because a lot of times in rare diseases, everybody is different. So it's not a script or a protocol that you can work off of. And something that I walked away with uh, was a much better understanding as a patient of the system that the providers are working in and you know how both need to collaborate together. Um, not unlike the way we are collaborating together when meeting to discuss these issues uh, in order to um, have the most successful care. I had two meetings with my student and yes, I think even if I had only had one meeting, I feel like it would be beneficial because if we can just reach one student um, in the medical field, then that's, that's good. She would come back with questions at each of our meetings after that particularly. At the end, she said, I will never forget histiocytosis and LCH. Patients and providers working together is the best way to provide appropriate care. If you're interested in learning more about the Rare Compassion Program or participating, you can visit our website at globalgenes.org slash rare dash compassion dash program. Again, that's globalgenes.org slash rare dash compassion dash program.